Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. We're gonna do a little tour outside because we just got back and I wanted to say thank you so much for bearing with me on my little vacation to go pick up my mother-in-law. She is very happy she's here. We're happy she's here. So I wanted to do a little welcome back video to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me again in the garden. We're gonna do a little garden check, make sure everything looks good, which I did a nice garden check yesterday. It was my full day to do the garden check and I've been working a lot out here. So we've gotten a lot straightened out, a lot changed. We've got peppers growing, our green bean totes doing really good right there on the left. This is our eggplant little baby doing good. We made sure we gave everything a good drink while we were gone. And my carrots here, since they're kind of growing in small pots, I was really worried about them drying out. So what I did was I put them over on this side in the shade while we were gone. So they got that nice morning sun for a few hours, but they didn't get too much sun that it was too much for them. We got our nice, let me show you, nice blackberries doing good. This one's vining out, getting big. And then we got our little one producing all that foliage on it. So it's coming back, it's finding out, they're looking good. I'm gonna rearrange the garden a little bit and I'll show you the big blackberry. This is my blackberry doing really, really well. We actually picked a blackberry off of her this morning and ate it, it was delicious. And she's pushing out more blackberries to come. Look how many she has on her foliage. It's so windy and beautiful here in Central Florida, Zone 9B. I think it's Saturday, the day before Easter. So happy Easter, everyone. I keep forgetting it's Easter, you guys. Happy, happy Easter. I guess we'll do a little tour Easter video, hey. <laughs> Look at all them juicy blackberries. So we know her pH is really good. And I put pH in here before we left to make sure she was gonna bloom really nice, make sure we were gonna have nice foliage on her. We'll go to the blueberry. My dwarf sunshine blueberry's doing really well. She's been producing, gave her some pH down, dropped her one point, and she's doing good. We've been picking blueberries like crazy. Little tomatoes doing good. Ooh, see him? <laughs> He's growing. Little green beans came up right there. Got our tomato shooting up really good. We pruned a lot of her suckers on the bottom and we started feeding her some bloom because she's blooming now. So we got to switch from the grow nutrients to the bloom and we got some nice pretty blooms on her. Pruned off the suckers three quarters of the way down. See no sucker branches? Sucker branches are branches that grow in the armpits of your tomato plant. So this is a sucker branch. This is your main stalk and each sucker branch is going to turn into a main stem like this little guy, which is gonna give you more produce and more flowers. So we're gonna leave the top to bunch out kind of like a tree and then keep pruning the bottom and leave that about a foot space I leave. Make sure she's nice, well watered. Got our bachelor buttons blooming with our morning glories, I think they are. It's so windy here, it's beautiful. Looking really good. I transplanted some of my sunflowers too because they were getting a little big for the pot they were in. So I'll go over there and show you that in my other garden bed. We did a lot of work out here the last couple of days. If you guys haven't noticed, got our little eggplant. Pretty, pretty flower. Starting to bloom. That's either Black Beauty or Long Standing. And we'll go to the little watermelon, which we fed some bloom nutrients right on the foliage. We sprayed the foliage with some bloom nutrients. We sprayed with neem oil last night. So a good dose of two tablespoons per gallon of water and neem oil with a quarter teaspoon of Dawn and a gallon jug. And then we mix it in a sprayer and sprayed all the foliage throughout the garden. Any plant I had, I sprayed the top, bottoms, fruit. It's good to use up until harvest. And then I topped off my watermelon, my eggplant, and um, my peppers with some fresh compost I had that was done. Now we'll kind of take a walk over to my other bed. 
Right over here, we got some parsley right on the end, growing really big. Now the parsley indoors is so much smaller because it doesn't have really much of a container to grow in. When you put it outdoors and it has a lot of room to grow, you can see just how big parsley gets. And that's like three plants. Got three parsley plants. You can see my succulents are doing really good over there. Those are colanchos. I got a little sunflower. We tilled out this whole bed left some coleus growing our peppers we switched to bloom nutrients so i'm giving bloom dynagro dynagro bloom once every two weeks we topped off our fresh compost in the garden bed now we're going to let them bloom jam out we got our morning glories blooming on the fence line i know you can't really see them too much but they're starting to open and bloom so once they open i'll kind of show you guys a little picture and i'm going to vine them up on the fence so we're going to go all along this fence here let me step back because I put another one all the way on the end. So we're going to trellis them out all the way along to the other one down there by our sunflowers. We got zinnias growing. And I wanted to show you that everything bloomed while we were gone. Kind of go up close and show you this uh, broccoli that we're growing in like the springtime heat. Look, we got a little broccoli head starting. See that? That's awesome. I'm so happy to see that, you guys. I thought we were going to lose our broccoli, but we're not. That's awesome. Got some more peppers blooming, producing for us, looking good. So we're doing good. And I'm going to make this little zinnia bed over here. You can see how pretty they are. Look how pretty these zinnias get. So we're going to make a little zinnia area. I'm going to plant quite a bit of them because I really like them. And then they branch out to the side like that and push out flowers all along the side too. So how cool is that? We're looking really good here. We've been doing a lot of work tilling up this whole bed because we're going to plant, I don't know what I'm going to plant here, probably green beans or something. Maybe some corn. I really want to grow some corn. Got some walking iris back there. And then these Kalanchoes succulents, look how big they've been getting. They are huge, you guys. They've been doing really good with the snapdragons, but snapdragons are really for cooler weather. And I gotta be honest, some of them are really starting to struggle. So I gotta be careful. We put some walking iris babies there, um, but they're starting to wilt. So I really have to be careful. These look good. They look pretty good, decent. They're blooming, so they're nice and healthy. And I just gotta make sure they have enough water so they're not you know, getting too dehydrated during the day. And then our sunflowers are blooming. We have another broccoli right there with a lemon balm that we're trying to make come back, which she's looking pretty good. Got some coleus back there growing, which I left. It seeded itself from coleus I had here last year. So I'm just letting it seed out because I cleaned out this whole bed. I had earthworm castings underneath, which was really, really cool. And um, put them in my compost, gathered them up. And then I planted my big, huge sunflowers over here so they can bloom with this nice morning glory. She's kind of getting beat up from the weather today. But look how pretty they are. And she's gonna bloom like crazy. That's how they look when they start to bloom. See each flower head? So pretty. So there's gonna be like three open tomorrow and I'll have to show you guys that. I'm gonna vine them up that fence there because look when I back up. Look how pretty that's gonna look. See the sunflowers? If I vine them up that fence there, around, and I plant a big garden of zinnias too, they're gonna interlock each other, those morning glories. And it's just gonna look so good back here, you guys. I'm so happy that I'm back filming again. Thank you so much for joining in. We're gonna do a little inside tour real quick just to show you guys what's been going on. I cleaned out this whole garden over here, weeded it all, and we got our tomatoes ripening. So these tomatoes are ripening. And I'm gonna leave them to finish just because they've, they're have they here, the plant's growing. Whatever blooms, blooms. But you know, the tomatoes on here are still viable. They're still growing, they're still ripening. Now that I pruned all that foliage off, they're gonna ripen even more. So we're gonna let them grow and then we'll pick them, pull the plant, and then we'll be done with this tomato for now because she really just got stalled out. It was going growing through the whole winter. So that's pretty crazy. I even got produce off of her. And we'll make this a little low light area garden bed with like plants and flowers and stuff and that's it you guys that's all I really wanted to show you we're gonna go inside real quick so let me adjust my camera 
I want to give you like a little far look because everything's growing so good. It's going to look so good when we're done. All right, you guys, so we just walked in the door. And as soon as you come in is my citronella, which you can see is lacking water. We got to transplant her again. <laughs> Basil getting big from when we left. I put her on the ground, my citronella. Some nice spinach, some sage growing, some nephitis up in there. We'll step back a little bit so I can show you my little orchid. Check this out, you guys. Look at this orchid. Beautiful. I love my lanai. I rearranged it so this way it looks a lot better, a lot more tidier. My plants are a lot happier. Got air plants, bamboo, jades. I have a new house plant right there, that big in, in that big pot. My marigold, which I took outside today because look at what we were growing indoors. Look how awesome that is. She bloomed indoors. So if you guys, you know, have a question about growing marigolds indoors, you sure can. You know, I pruned her up. I'm going to show you guys from seed how to prune her up to get her stocky and growing like this and branching out from start to finish. So that's kind of what she looks like after I'm done trimming. And she's jamming out. So I'm going to rock her out out here, get her in a bigger pot, and leave her to grow in a pot because I don't want to put her outside. This lavender is getting really, really big and lanky. So we're going to do a video and cut some of this, give it some room to grow, and then this way it can start stocking out a little bit as well. Look at them flowers. That lavender still stinks. I love it. So we're going to take a walk over to here. I switched my plants around over here. I put my succulent babies on the bottom tray here. Parsley and stuff on the top. Put my Hawaiian plant. Sorry it's dark in here. It's my Hawaiian plant. So we got her hanging out. And I switched this around because my succulents were over here, but this isn't going to get as much sun anymore because the sun's changing and it's moving. So let's step back to show you. We don't really have enough sun here anymore. So my low light plants, you know, six hours of sun plants are going to do good there. That's a hanging succulent pot right there. She's going to do good. She only requires bright light. My pineapple stays. My, my um, purple flower stays right there. And then I have sage doing really well. And I moved on my highlight plants, like my sage over here and stuff, and my succulents. Because this area is going to need a lot more light. I mean, it's going to get a lot more light. This is a western-facing window. Southern, 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 western. <laughs> so they're going to get a lot more sun over here than just the south. Because the south tends to get covered by that huge oak we have up ahead. Sorry, I keep getting my finger in the way. But my succulents did so well while we were gone, you guys. We gave them lots and lots of water. Nature, they were going to do well, and they did. Had to water when I came back a few, but we did rain last night, so they got double watered, which is really good because they were kind of dehydrated. And that just goes to show me that, you know, they really were lacking a lot of water. I was underwatering them. Look how much they've grown since I've been gone. Look at that crazy sedum. And that just shows you guys, leave them alone, let them do their thing. They will jam out. They're just looking so good. Give you a little up close look. Growing really, really well. We're gonna catch up on some videos here. If you guys need any help on anything at all, just let me know. I'm always here for you, as always. I love what I do, and I love helping you guys grow something of your own that you want to grow. We'll go outside, look at my queen of the night, and that's it for the tour. So check her out. She's getting huge. Look at them vines. And that's not the end of the tour, you guys. We're going to go inside and look at the inside plants really quick. I want to show you guys the inside as well. You can see she's actually budding for me. And I didn't know she was going to be blooming right now. See? I had no idea she was going to be blooming. I thought she was done because she usually doesn't bloom in hot weather. She's a fall growing plant. But she's blooming. So we're doing good. we got to make sure we feed her lots and lots of nutrients. And we're going to go inside. These are my indoor plants up at the window. We got a few new little guys like this shamrock here. Got to try to get it back in 
to good health for mom. <laughs> she brought it over, it kind of got stunted out a little bit from the travel. But you can see because we watered our plants and stuff before we left, they are nice and healthy. They're getting huge. This little island pine's growing really big. My Dracinia is getting big. She's really liking this window now because it's not full blaring sun. And the sun, we get like six to seven hours of sun now over here. But then it's gone and gives them a nice afternoon break, which these succulents and um, Dracinias and my Venus flytraps and stuff, they really like that. You can see we got a new baby growing on her already since we transplanted our little pitcher plant. These are our carnivorous plants. So they're really liking that new soil that they're in. She's getting nice defined colors on her. You can see the veins, the buggies they're catching. So we're looking good. Go up to her, which she's gonna need to be transplanted. It's my Dracinia compactica. She looks good since we left. Gonna need to give her some water. She's just getting huge for me. And then we have my um, poly elephant ear. There we go, there's the light. Hello. Sorry you guys, it's like so dark in my house. Poly elephant ears doing really well from being transplanted. We got a little, um, I think this is like a lily or something like that. I forgot what it was called, but we're gonna nurse that back to health for my mom. We got our aloes over here doing really well, the new one we bought. Our regular aloes. That's our little barefoot, which he's gonna get moved. You can see all that soil. He's doing good. New growth. So we got new growth coming out, which is really cool. And that's it, you guys. That is the end of the tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time out in the garden. Bye-bye.